How you doing, Manginas? Angry Toddler here, bringing you guys Domination on Lockdown. And welcome to Girlfriend Story, Episode 6. And last time we left off, I was talking about Skankasaurus Rex and a story about Jessica and going to meet her an hour away. Well, I just remembered, I was actually halfway through his commentary, and I remember how I met Jessica. And I was at the Adventureland, that same fucking park that I sang and work at still. Um, I was there in 8th uh, or ninth grade. I was in ninth grade, I think. And I was there with a couple of my buddies from school. And we were in line for this really long ride, uh, the Raging River. And there was this girl ahead of me. And she was about, she was probably about like 12, 13, 14 people ahead of me. But with the rows, how they went, they had like little rows. She was just like right next to me most of the time. And I kind of like kept making eye contact with her. She kept looking at me. And I was like, wow, she's really cute. And so basically, uh, after this eye contact for a while, and like it was just kind of like flirting without talking to each other, uh, if you know what I mean, she was just finally like, hey, do you guys want to cut us? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. So we just hopped in front of everybody. I'm sure everybody fucking was pissed, but we were young. I don't think anybody cared that much. But um, so then I started talking to her. And we had hung out with these, it was two girls, one of the, one of the girls' name was Kylie, I don't remember the other girl's name. And we were like, we talked the whole time there, and they were with their, they were with their mom. And, um, so I got their number, and like, so eventually, basically long story short, like this girl, me and her, we didn't really ever have a thing. I've always thought she was cute, and I actually saw her like three years after that. And, but she's crazy now. Um, she's, she's weird. But, that's how I met her, that's how I met this Jessica girl was through her because I actually went to go hang out with her like I think the next year that she came down to Adventureland again and she brought her friends and Jessica was one of them so that was basically how we actually met it wasn't through MySpace I was wrong about that that's actually a different girl <laughs> that will come up in the future but so anyways let me smack my ass if you didn't hear that just trying to act sexy over um, commentaries that's what I do so I can have, because basically right now I'm trying to convince every girl that's watching this right now to become my girlfriend so I can just talk about you on YouTube. So totally, this is a great pickup strategy here. <laughs> well actually, it is because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nice guy, but the thing is all these girls are crazy ass bitches. So if you're not a crazy ass bitch, I won't talk about you on YouTube. <laughs> so that's how basically that works. But you'll actually hear some future girlfriends that I were like pretty cool. So. Um, yeah. Okay, so this Jessica girl, she lived an hour away. But the one weekend me and her planned to hang out, she was at her dad's house. And that was two to two and a half hours away. And I had to make up some lies to be able to go there. I had just turned 16, so I was only driving maybe three or four months. And um, I told my mom I was actually going to the water park with Ashley. And I told Ashley I was... Um, what I told Ashley. Oh, I told Ashley that I was at a family reunion with my step family. So I had all the sides covered. I was like, oh, this is, this is bulletproof. I will never get busted. And I actually didn't, to be honest. So <laughs> better the better. But um, yeah, so what happened was... Shit, I fucking just totally forgot. Okay, right. So I was leaving on the Saturday, and all I had was her address. Well, the problem was my phone broke. It just happened to break that day. So I was like, what the fuck? And I was at a class. It was a Saturday. It wasn't like school class. It was something else embarrassing. I won't, I'll won't. i explain it later on in a future episode. It's a secret of mine. But well, it wasn't pole dancing. It, it might have been. It might have been pole dancing class. But um, okay. So I had no way to getting a computer and like map questing and like uh, directions to address. Because I just planned on getting to Albia. And then that was, that was the town she was in. Getting to Albia and then calling her when I get there and then she'll help me out so um what happened was I actually got there and it was crazy I drove all the way to Albia and I got off this one exit uh, and I just took a left and I was like shit hopefully I'm going the right way and I literally found the right house within like three or four minutes so that was bomb because if I didn't find that house I had no way to getting a hold of her and I would have just drove two, uh, two to two and a half hours home for nothing so anyways, I, um, right, so she was at her house, she was actually at the pool, and we had sw we had planned on swimming, that's why I told my mom I was going to a water park, which gave me an excuse to bring my swim trunks, and so 
I get to the fucking pool and they just get out as soon as I get there. I was like, well, that's cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for making me bring my swim trunks. And so that, that was kind of stupid. But yeah, so then we actually went up going to her house and it was really weird because I met like all of her family and that's fine. But I really, I don't know about you guys, but I always feel awkward meeting people's family, especially like girls. Well, not even that, like people who I show an interest in and have an interest in me. Meeting their family is one of the weirdest stuff ever, uh, in my opinion. I think it's kind of awkward. But they were actually pretty cool. And I met her little brother and little uh, little sister, and I like them. They're, her little sister was a little fucking bitch, though. But uh, it was alright, I just made fun of her. Um, and so basically I just like hung out there and, uh, we went to this person's house and we were just chilling out. We were basically just chilled out the whole day and I spent like the whole day there. I got there around maybe, um, noon to one and I stayed there until 11 o'clock. And, uh, I also remember she was just like, she texted me later on. She was like, I just wanted to hold your hand so bad, but I know you're dating Ashley. So I'd probably, sh I knew I should enough. Or I just wanted to kiss you so bad, it was one of the two, or it might have been both. But I was, I, was, I was just so sappy, I think it's hilarious now. And so, I, all of a sudden my phone worked, and I, would just, I was just leaving, I was like, I should probably get home, um, so it's time for me to go have a long drive ahead of me. So I was just leaving, and all of a sudden, for whatever fucking reason, my phone worked. And it showed, my mom says, where are you? Get home now. And so she thinks I'm only like 20 minutes away. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I am screwed. And so I fucking booked it. I was going literally 90 to 110 the whole way home. So this two-hour trip turned into 45 minutes. It took me 45 minutes to get home from here. And thank God I didn't get pulled over, dude. I would have gotten huge, huge trouble, more than imaginable. But I actually made it home, um, and... I was just like, uh, she was like, where were you all day? I was like, well, I was at the water park, and then we just, like, watched a movie at her place. And she's like, oh, okay, that's fine. So, uh, I, I, I was, I was, I got through it. I was all right. Uh, Ashley never found out. Um, my mom never found out that I was way far away. And it was all good in the hood. And with me and Jessica, um, there was actually one day I ended up breaking up with Ashley. And I planned on dating Jessica, because Jessica kept, like, being like, you really need to break up with her, break up with her, like, we can start dating and all this stuff. And, like, um, I was just like, I don't know. So there was one day I actually broke up with, uh, Ashley. And my friends, by the way, a lot of my friends did not like Ashley. My One of my best friends, he hated her. He told me to break up with her so many times, and I just never did, because I was an idiot. And I just wouldn't listen. But, so I broke up with her this one day. And, um, eventually I got back with her, and I just told Jessica, I was like, hey... I just don't think it's going to work because we live so far away. I mean, I've only seen you once in like four or five months, so I just don't know how it's going to work. And to be honest, uh, it might not have even been the right best decision, but like me and Jessica wouldn't have ever worked out dating that far away. So, and plus, yeah, and I, you know, I don't remember why I got back with her. I just know Ashley was like crying her eyes out. All of her friends texted and called me and were like, why did you break up with Ashley? Uh, like just like that they sounded just like that and uh, so I finally caved in and went back and dated her I remember that day too I broke up with her I went to my friend's house we just played poker all day it was an awesome day I have to say I wasn't even really upset I think mean, like you know when you, you break up with somebody it's like oh man like I'm really upset about it but I really wasn't to be honest so, so I don't know why I got back with her um, it really didn't feel any different than the other days. I think I just got so used to the idea of me dating Ashley that it just felt like a normal routine. And it ended up biting me in the ass because uh, it turned out for the worse later on. And next episode, I'll tell you guys about an embarrassing story that happened with me and her. It really doesn't have much to do with her, but she was there. So I, I feel like it's kind of a funny story you guys might like to hear. And then I'll also talk about why I actually hate her and why she got the name... Skakasaurus Rex for me. So that look forward to that. So you'll hear for the first time of why I can't stand this girl. And I farted. I don't know if you heard it. But it's gonna smell really bad. My fart's been terrible this morning. It's gross. But I need a shower and go get my other computer fixed. Cause this thing is a shithole. This old computer of mine. So 
Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and look forward to the next episode. Stay hairy, manginas. Poop sauce.